Did Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes manage to sneak in and get pole position? Could Ferrari get their first pole position in Italy since 2010? And was there anything that Red Bull could do to challenge? Find out in this video. There was a risk of rain at the start of the session but it ended up being fully dry and ended with the Tafosi being very happy with a Ferrari front row. Kimi Raikkonen is on pole from Sebastian Vettel second, Lewis Hamilton third, Valtteri Bottas is fourth with Max Verstappen in fifth. Then it's Roman Grosjean in P6, Carlos Sainz in P7, Esteban Ocon in eighth, Pierre Gasly in ninth and Lance Stroll in tenth. P11 to P15 is Kevin Magnussen, Sergei Sorokin, Fernando Alonso, Nico Hülkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo. With Sergio Perez, Charles Leclerc, Brendan Hartley, Marcus Ericsson and Stoffel van Dorn rounding out the field. First though, let's take a look at how the top teams did in qualifying. With Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes came very close to getting pole position. And at one point in Q3, they did have pole. But when it came to the end of Q3, when it mattered, Mercedes just did not have the pace to beat Ferrari. They are just not as quick at this track. But at least with Hamilton, they were a bit closer to Ferrari than I expected. But Bottas was way off the pace. Down in fourth and half a second off Hamilton. That is nowhere near good enough for Valtteri Bottas. Now I'm not saying he should outqualify Hamilton, but he should be a lot closer than he actually was. His form has been poor ever since the Hungarian Grand Prix. But for Mercedes tomorrow, they do have a chance of getting the win. But they cannot allow Ferrari to maintain a 1-2 after the start. Because if Ferrari do, then Mercedes are not going to win the Grand Prix. The start of tomorrow's race is crucial. After a close battle, Ferrari ended up capturing the front row. But in no way was it easy, as they were only P2 and P3 after their first run in Q3. But both drivers at the end of Q3 pulled out a fantastic lap, where Sebastian Vettel surprisingly was beaten by his teammate Kimi Raikkonen to pole, as Vettel in Q3 was slightly too scruffy when it mattered. And that allowed Kimi Raikkonen to take his first pole position of 2018. And it was a very deserved one. With his fastest lap at the end of Q3 going on to be now the fastest lap in F1 history. And it was an excellent final attempt. But can Kimi go on to win the race? If Sebastian is directly behind I don't think Kimi will be allowed to win the race. Team orders will definitely come into play if Sebastian is behind Kimi. But if Sebastian is not directly behind, I think Kimi will win the race. As he and the car combined are certainly quick enough to do that. But no matter what happens, Ferrari tomorrow should win that Grand Prix. For me, there is no excuse not to win. They absolutely have to. What happened for Red Bull came as no surprise. As Max Verstappen in P5 was miles off the pace of both Ferrari and Mercedes and was almost a second behind Bottas in P4. That is just how bad the Renault engine is in a straight line. And because of that, there is nothing else you could ask from Max Verstappen. And because Ricardo has an engine penalty, he did not take part in Q2. So for Red Bull tomorrow, they just have to keep their fingers crossed and hope for the best. Now though, let's check in with those midfield teams and see how they did. McLaren I don't think were as bad as I expected them to be, as Fernando Alonso somehow dragged that car into Q2. That is a brilliant achievement for that car which is so poor, and Stoffel van Dorn went on to prove how poor that car is by qualifying in 20th. But despite Alonso doing well, I do not see how McLaren are going to score any points, and I think they'll end up pointless again tomorrow. For Renault, they weren't actually that bad. Nowhere near as bad as I thought they were going to be coming into qualifying. As Carlos Sainz so impressively finished up in 7th place. Nobody was expecting that kind of performance. And a big well done to him on his birthday as well. But like Daniel Ricciardo, Nico Hülkenberg did not do a lap in Q2. Because of the penalties he already had. But can Carlos Sainz tomorrow hold on for a very important points finish? I think he can, but it will be very tough. There is a lot of cars behind that are going to be very fast. And he might be defending a lot down the straights in tomorrow's race. 
from Force India qualifying actually turned out to be a bit disappointing. Yes, Esteban Ocon was 8th, but I think he should have been a bit better than that, considering a track like this should suit the Force India more than the Renault. But somehow the Renault ended up ahead. But Perez was very disappointing down in only P16, as his team massively messed up the timing of his final lap in Q1. But there is still a chance for him to score points in tomorrow's race. He should certainly be fast enough down the straights to get past the slower cars. So hopefully Force India's race is better than their qualifying. For Williams it went on to be their best qualifying performance of 2018. With Lance Stroll very impressively getting inside the top 10. That's Williams' first Q3 appearance of 2018. And also Sergo Sorokin in P12 did well as well. But can Williams actually go on to score any points? They do have a chance but I don't think they actually will. Because I think the hearts of Kevin Magnussen and also Sergio Perez will be too fast for the two Williams. But if they do get some luck I would not be surprised if one of them did get a points finish. Hopefully Williams do not mess this up. It was also a very good day for Toro Rosso and also Honda. With Pierre Gasly in P9. And if that does not show that Honda have made clear progress over 2018 then I don't know what does. Monza is the most powerful power circuit on the calendar. And for them to be in 9th place again it just shows the progress that has been made. And also not forgetting a good performance from Pierre Gasly. Brendan Hartley though was miles off the pace all the way down in P18. Again not really good enough when it comes to that qualifying pace from Brendan. But in tomorrow's race I really think that Toro Rosso can score points. It's going to be hard but it's definitely possible. Like Toro Rosso qualifying for one of the Haas drivers was good. And that was Roman Grosjean finishing best of the rest in P6. His qualifying pace this year has been so so good. And if he can keep it calm in tomorrow's race he should score points. Magnussen though could not get into the top 10 all because of Fernando Alonso. In what was a stupid move by Fernando. Going around the outside into the first chicane passing Kevin Magnussen and then pushing him wide into the second part of the chicane. I do not know what he was even trying to do. Yes he got a great run on Kevin but you're not supposed to do that in qualifying. And that is the reason that Kevin could not get into Q3. Clearly through no fault of his own. But for the race I am expecting both Haas cars to go on and score points. And further catch Renault in the constructors. For Salva though it was really really disappointing. With Charles Leclerc P17 and Marcus Ericsson in P19. The Salva should be way faster at this kind of track. I don't understand why they were so slow. After looking in terms of pace quite good in practice. But I guess with them we'll see what they can do tomorrow. And when it comes to tomorrow this is what I'm doing on the channel. At 10 past 1 I'll be doing a race watch along and then a race reaction at 4.30pm for the Italian Grand Prix. Hopefully all of you guys can join me for that. But this qualifying was certainly a good one. Hopefully we get a great battle at the front and a great race tomorrow. But anyway guys that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys I will be back tomorrow with my race watch along and race reaction. As well don't forget to join my discord server, a link to that is down in the description also with my twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think of qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazer HD, goodbye.